how to make a hydraulic piston for your robot arm. Well, first of all, if you want to make the robot arm, a video should be up here. So if you go into the YouTube channel, you should find the video how to make this piston with the wire if you want to. Okay, so to make the hydraulic press, like I've mentioned, there has to be a tube here, and there has to be a thinner tube in here, and there has to be something that's holding this piston, which we can make pretty easily by doing shift A first and move it along. So let's start building the piston. So go to edit mode. So select your armature and go to tab mode. Go into extreme mode first. You wanna do shift A and create a new bone. Take this bone and just move it and place it here for now. And do shift A again and create another bone. So two bones. For now, they'll be just here. Make sure they're straight up for now. Select one of the bones and do shift S, cursor to select it. So now the cursor is on here. So shift A, take a cylinder, scale it. I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna re-add it actually. And for the verts, I'm gonna make it six like this. Then scale it, take this mesh, and then hold shift, select bone, go to pose mode, select this bone, and do control P to bone. And then again, the same thing for this one, select this, hold shift, cursor to select it while you're on edit mode, go back to object mode, do shift A, get a cylinder, and this should be automatically six vertices because it remembered. And then she's gonna make it smaller so it fits the inside of this one just scale it a little bit select this mesh hold shift select bone go to pose mode and do Control p to bone good so now we have these little two systems but first we've got to make the animation happen so for the animation go back onto edit mode and just move these bones where you want them to be so like i did on my drawing i want it to be around here like this that's what i want my thing to look like so i'm going to select this bone again go to edit mode rotate I'm gonna try and make it fit this line not 100% accurate, but something close. This doesn't look bad at all. And there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is, if I press space, it doesn't stick. To make it stick, go back to edit mode, select this bone, hold shift, select the center bone, and do control P, keep offset. So now if you press play, it's going to stick. It's good. Now I'm gonna select this bone, move it as well, rotate, so it's here, a little more rotation. Okay, this is good. I'm going to take this bone, hold shift, parent it to this one, the upper bone that doesn't move, and do control P, keep it off, keep offsets, and this is what it looks like. So we're getting there, but there is a problem. You have to go to pose mode, so go to pose mode for this armature, select one of the bones, then on your properties, if you go down to bone constraints, and do add bone constraint, and do damped track, and select damp track, and now target, um, select armature obviously, armature, take this bone, so this bone is armature 0, well this bone is 5, number 5 right here. So go back to the green bone, and then bone, and do 5. So now if I press space, it's going to be locked to that bone. Same thing for this one, take this one, add bone constraint, damn track, target, armature, and then this bone which is number 4, so this bone is going to track bone 4. So if I press space now, you can see how they're locked. So now you can see the system's actually working correctly. So now the fun part, just reshaping and resizing everything to make it fit and look perfect. Or even adding a little more design. So this thing is floating. So I'm going to make it smaller like this. Or maybe even more slower, smaller. Then I'm going to take this one. Go to edit mode, select faces. Press E to extrude. Select this face and do Control H. Hook to new object. Go back to object mode, select this hook, zoom in, pull it down, and make a little rotation so it fits like this. But I'm going to select this empty, hold shift, select this bone, all this mesh, and do control P to object. So now it's going to stick. And now again, the same thing, take this, take this mesh, press tab, select the face, and then do control H, hook to new object. Go to back to object mode and now select this face, select this face and do shift S, cursor to select it. Go back to object mode, select this hook and do shift S, selection to cursor. And now just take this hook, do shift, select this mesh and do control P, object. And there it is, it's stuck and it's stretching, which is kind of interesting. And I've basically finished, so this is what it looks like.